Mojang is changing armor forever in 1.20, making diamonds more valuable, netherite more expensive, and adding armor trims to the game. How can you get all the patterns? What is the easiest one to obtain? And which one is the biggest flex? Let's discuss. In case you're wondering, this is not a mod. It will be part of vanilla Minecraft in both Java and Bedrock editions. With that out of the way, let's jump in. First, let's talk about the changes to netherite. Up until now, having full netherite gear was a very impressive feat. Whether you strip mined or used TNT in beds to blow the nether up, getting all that ancient debris was something only the most dedicated miner would craft. But that's not enough anymore. Besides the ingot and diamond armor or tool, you also have to get your hands on a netherite upgrade template. Currently, these can only be found inside chests in the bastions with a gear guarantee of having two in each treasure room. The smithing table UI will be changed to accept all three items and will be used to make netherite gear and apply trim to armor. This will use up the template and material, so you'll need one template for every item you wish to upgrade to netherite. You either have to search around for several of them or copy the template using seven diamonds and a piece of netherite. This does make netherite a lot harder to get and that is not by accident. In the patch notes, Mo Ying stated that they were adding this change to increase the time players utilize diamond equipment and to make netherite equipment a more significant achievement in the game's progression. It does mean that when you see someone with netherite armor, you'll know that they worked really hard for it. I could see taking the risk to make it to a bastion as quickly as possible and make copies of them and sell them for a fair markup. I could also see myself happy to pay a fair amount of diamonds to not have to do that. Next up, I'll be discussing armor trims and ranking them from easiest to most flexworthy. Armor trims are a new way to customize your armor, showing off where you've adventured and to flex about your wealth, and a lot of them are very gorgeous. There are 11 patterns hidden in structures throughout the world. Some are obviously more rare and difficult to get. Before I show them off though, you need to know that they are a one-time use item, just like netherite upgrade templates. And the recipe to copy them is the same. Seven diamonds and a block from the structure you find the template in. Once you have found a template and copied it so you don't lose it forever, simply place the armor, template, and one of 10 materials in the smithing table. The materials you can use are iron, copper, gold, lapis, emerald, diamond, netherite, redstone, amethyst, and quartz. The pattern can be previewed on the armor stand inside the smithing table. Previously, you could not trim armor with the same material that the armor was made of, but recently that has been changed. So if you want to have diamond trim on your diamond armor, you can. All the armor in the game can have trim added to it, including turtle shells and leather armor, as well as the iron, chainmail, gold, diamond, and netherite versions. Personally, I think all of the colors look good on the iron and netherite armor. And the fact that you can dye leather and put armor trim on it means there's literally millions of combinations of colors that you can have. Have. Make sure to get in the comments and let me know what your favorite color combination would be. Alright, now let's jump into where to find the trim templates. As we discuss each one, I'll be putting the odds of finding a template up here, as well as how many can be found. I'm going to start with what I think will be the easiest structures to find and explore, and progress to what I think is the most difficult. The first one we have is the Coast Armor Trim, which can be found in shipwrecks. I think this will be the easiest to find because you can just jump in a boat fairly early in the game and find several of those structures just by floating around the ocean. The only hazards to watch out here are, of course, drowning and the drowned. Second, we have the dune armor trim located in the desert pyramid. Fairly straightforward, just make sure you have food and maybe a bed to skip the night, because roaming the desert, there's not a lot. While you're out there, you might be able to find a village and grab a camel for your journey. Just make sure not to set off the TNT while raiding the temple. That would be the opposite of good. Now, I struggled where to place the next two because the pillager outpost can be a lot easier to find, but the jungle temple is a lot easier to raid. In the end, I put the pillager outpost first because I really think it's a tie here. The easiest way to get the sentry trim is to fly into the pillager outpost tower with a leecher and block off the stairs. But assuming you haven't got the ability to defy gravity yet, make sure you have some armor, a shield, and some blocks. Then just sprint your way past all those nasty pillagers. I prefer to block off the entrance on my way up so they don't sneak up behind me. If you get super lucky, you'll get a goat horn and the two templates here. Next, like we said, is the wild template. The biggest challenge here is actually finding the jungle temple among all the undergrowth. I always skip over these things when I'm looking for them. I usually only find these on accident, but maybe that's because I'm not as good at Minecraft as you are. I don't know. But once you have located it, just avoid the traps and try to remember the puzzle. The trick to this lever puzzle, flick the left, the right, the middle one, and then give up and use a pickaxe. If you know the combo, then I'm proud of you. You're awesome. Congratulations. The next four smithing templates can all be found using archaeology in the trail ruins. I'm talking about the Wayfinder, Shaper, Host, and Razor armor trims. You're looking for some hard to spot random terracotta and suspicious gravel in any of the following biomes. Jungle, Taiga, Snowy Taiga, Old Growth Birch Forest, 
Old Growth Pine Taiga, and Old Growth Spruce Taiga. Once you find it though, get a brush in your offhand and shovel in your main and start digging and brushing your way through the structure. While you're here, you can get several diamonds any of the seven party shirts, and even the new relic music disc. Moving on, we have the Tide Armor Trim. This one can be found by boating around the ocean, much like the shipwreck. You're looking for an ocean monument, and things start to get tricky here because there's no chests. Instead, there's a 20% chance that a template will drop when you kill an Elder Guardian. So no smash and grab here. Underwater combat is required. Next, we're off to find a stronghold to get the Eye Armor Trim. Make sure to loot the place while you're rooting around trying to find the end of the game. Every chest you find here has a 10% chance of containing this trim, with a 100% chance in the library. The dangers and difficulty here are pretty obvious. Strongholds tend to be large, windy, and filled with plenty of mobs hiding around every corner, not to mention the silverfish. The Vex armor trim can be found in woodland mansions. Finding a mansion isn't too bad since you can buy maps to them from a cartographer villager. Raiding a mansion is of course perilous, but doable. The biggest issue here is that there aren't a lot of chests to be found. That's why the developers of Mahjong up the loot tables of these chests to 50%. So there's a fair chance you can find a mansion with both the armor trim and a lay. There's also a chance to find a mansion with neither of those though. Alright, now we're leaving the overworld and heading into the nether for the next two, starting with rib armor trim found in the nether fortress. This one is pretty straightforward. Run around and don't die to blaze, skeletons, or wither skeletons. Maybe you'll get a beacon while you're here, just try not to wither away. Good luck. Next we have one of the hardest and yet I think will be the most likely armor trim to be found. It's the snout armor found in the bastion remnant. It is found in the same place as the nether upgrade template. So while you're getting one, you can get both. Just remember that you can wear gold to fool piglins, but the moment you open a chest or mine some gold, they will all come running for you. One way around this is to place a hopper under the chest and take things out of the hopper instead. Of course, this is also the home of the piglin brute, and they don't care what you're wearing. They'll attack you either way. And now it's the end. Wait, I don't, I don't mean the end of the video. Don't go anywhere. What I mean is the next one is in the end. But since you brought it up, if this video is helping or entertaining you in any way, Way, please make sure to hit that like button. I mean, you've already watched this far, right? You might as well. Okay, uh, where was I? Right, the Spire Trim. This one is found in End Cities. If you've ever beaten the dragon and raided End City, this won't be any different. So just keep raiding End Cities. Those chests you already find, you'll also find armor trims. It's just being added to the loot table there. The last two have me really intimidated. The ward and the sneak armor trims can be found in ancient cities. So while you're sneaking around with your carpet and snowballs, be on the lookout for these super rare trims. They currently have the lowest rates of all the templates. So make sure you're the only thing shrieking in the deep dark or the warden will gladly relieve you of your health bar. Please drop in a comment of what you think about these armor trims and which ones you'll want to put on your armor. Will you go for style by making Ninja Turtle armor? Maybe an Iron Man suit? Or do you think diamond on netherite is the ultimate flex? Or maybe netherite trim on leather armor is the best way to show off your wealth. In any case, make sure you're subscribed for future tutorials and please check out my latest videos from the AutoCraft SMP. I'll also leave a link to Twitch where I like to play Minecraft as well as a variety of chat interactive games. I'd love to hang out and maybe discuss your thoughts there. There. But for now, please play responsibly.